Welcome back to another episode, just vanning it guys. This video is slightly a bit different because we're gearing up to get up to the Cape. Now, we're only leaving about a week's time, but we've also had a little bit of rain over the last few days, so it's been pretty hard uh, to record some great videos. So I thought I'll take this opportunity while we have some of this stuff called the blue sky up the top of me, and we're gonna take you around uh, the 79 cruiser and what I feel needs to be done to the cruiser because I've seen a lot of um, videos and photos coming out of the Cape York this year and I'll tell you what it looks gnarly as so what I'm about to do to the car is obviously not everything I would like to do to the car because it's on the cost side of things but there's a few things I thought that we could do just to try and prevent damage to the car I'm missing a few little things that just make going to the Cape a lot easier so what I'm going to do, we parked up at an RV park at the moment. Um, I'm not doing any mechanical work as such, not servicing the car or anything. I'm just going to add a few things to um, the under the underbody of the car and a couple of other little accessories I'll show you now. But what I've done is I've thrown down my uh, ground sheet here because it's pretty wet and I'm going to reverse the car on top of here and that way I'm not in the mud and the wet grass. And um, hopefully this won't take too long, but I thought I'd share with, these, um, share with you these few little steps I'm taking to make sure the car's gonna be as good as I can get it to go to the Cape Tip. Now the caravan, I'm not worried too much about the caravan because of when we had the caravan built with vacation of caravans, I did mention to them our plans, what we want to do with the caravan. So, but what I'll do is I'll show you underneath the van what they done to possibly try and um, keep all the pop work from stones and breaking, etc., like that. So let's get this uh, cruiser around. I've got a um, film crew with me. You would have seen these guys um, in our earlier videos this year. Mark, Vanessa and the kids, and also someone else has joined us. We got, I believe he's, there's a nickname for his caravan out here that Keelan has given it. This is Aaron from Lost Tribe Adventures. Hey guys. What's, what did Keelan name your caravan, mate? Uh, squid Jig. Look at this, and look at stuck. this. You can see why it's called the Squid Jig. <laughs> you, you won't miss that caravan after the few beers in the pub. But uh, it's a wicked looking caravan. But these guys are also coming up uh, to the Cape with us. There's actually a few of us doing the Cape. Once we're all together, I shall be introducing you to everyone. And we can't wait. We're taking two weeks to go to the Cape. It's awesome. So let's get this car around. Let's get it on the map. All right guys, so we've got the car parked up here now. So up the front, this is what we've added up down in um, Melbourne, was a carbon 15,000 uh, pound winch. It's the Scout version, which apparently it is a little bit of a, I think it's a seven horsepower winch motor. So it's just winches a little bit faster and 15,000 pound because of the weight. Um, that's what I was advised. So that's a carbon winch, but let's go underneath. Now you can see that's your standard recovery point there. I don't like that. So we've bought ourselves an ALB recovery point, which should go up on the left hand side. But also, I've got a bash plate to put on underneath here. Because apparently, that's sort of all I can get for the cruiser. And you can also get a radiator cover, but I can't get one. And then, one last thing. So that's two, two things we want to put on. And one last thing is, we're going to extend the rear and front diff breathers as well. Which is another little ALB kit I've bought. Um... I reckon that's a pretty easy job to do apparently. But I think what we're going to try and concentrate on first is up front we'll try and see if we can get that recovery point installed and then the bash plate on the front and then we'll, while I'm in the front, I'll run the, the front diff breather to the back. Now my idea is, is to uh, put the diff breather vent possibly as high as I can get it. So I thought over here somewhere or even on here and get the pipes to come up here so that way um, we're higher than the bonnet and then generally look I'm no 4x4 expert but when we go through a river crossing you, you form a wake in sort of the, up the front of the vehicle and it sort of gets a bit shallower towards the back so I'm thinking the vent up there will be a good idea so guys I'm doing this all by myself because Sue's working today today is Friday so this is the diff breather kit I went with from ARB different diff breather kit so that's that little vent I was talking about um, I'm going to put as high as I can and that kit comes with the, the little quick connect pieces and the hose We'll open that in a minute and then the recovery point because I've got an ALB bull bar I thought I'd just go with an ALB recovery point um, That's it over there. 
I know it's a big box, but apparently that's just that, and it comes with a bag with bolts and stuff to explain. And then the bash plate. I'll get the bash plate out in a minute, but um, well, let's open this because this is the, one of the first things that are going to go in, and I'll show you what's going on here. So there it is there. So that is um, the one the recovery point. So I reckon we get this one first because the bash plate actually goes around this. So let's get, hop under the car and um, let's have a look at what's going on underneath there. Well, here I am under the car. So. It's a left hand sword recovery point. I'll swing this around and it goes in here. So we've got to loosen these bolts, I do believe. And it goes in, got to cut this plastic cover. So I reckon we take this plastic cover off here. One, two, three, four bolts. Get this radiator cover off. Um, and we can be able to get to what's going on over here. And this is where that, that uh, recovery point goes. And the bash plate I've got sort of will come down here so entry into those deep gunshot and palm um there's a palm creek i think it is it'll just you know cover this there's the winch you can see that there so to get that winch you know to take the whole bull ball off because of this bar in the way but um it's in there it's gone well we haven't really used that yet but let's get this cover off So guys, we've got to take top one off, bottom one off, and undo that because it fits in like that. And then two new bolts to go through there. So that's the plan. Yep. Holy sherbets. Walk towards you. Yeah, that way. Oh, is it that way? Yeah. I'm going the wrong way. That hit myself in the face. Rightio. Let's see how tight we did these. <laughs> we, hey Phil, if you're watching this, mate, that wasn't talked at all. So that's the bottom one. We can't get that mixed around. Now let's see how tight he got the top one. Not that tight, but anyway. It's pretty restricted in there. Yeah, though. it's restricted, isn't it? Right, eh? Recovery uh, point comes with uh, a bag of bolts. And I do believe there's instruction manuals here. But I've got to go. So Mike's grab that. And I'm going to go. You know, I'm a male. So out, out with those. And let's have a dig around here. What we got? Need instructions. Jeepers, we got some oh, super long yeah. bolts. Hang on, where? Do we that's need those instructions too, or what? No, those are way too long, mate. I reckon that's for a different mount. And then I've got. Oh, jeez, love. Yeah, I reckon it's those. That should fit straight into that thread. I'm going to put washers on. I'm just checking. Hang on. We'll bring these back again. Take two. Take two. Mark's having a crack now. Having a go. Righto guys. Found a bit of a fiddle. I've got it in place. Right. So here we got it in guys. We're just tightening it up now. Um, been a bit of a bit of a muck about, but um, we think we got it in. Alright. So Mark has suggested before we put bash plates on. That's that's the um, the breather for the front diff, and that's as high as it goes, just over here. There we go. So, what we'll do is we'll put the breather in here, we'll run that tube out towards this way, and then we can put the bash plate on. So, so Mark's taking out that little what do you call that thing, Mark? Oopsie, tight spaces. And then I'll show you in a minute. The ALB came with a new. Um, there you go. Zoom out there. So we'll put the new one in there now from the ALB, and then that we can just stick the hose and run the hose towards the back. All right, so here we go. 
the breather kit. So this is the hose that comes with it. I reckon there's about, I don't know, 10 meters of hose. But here we go. So here's the, um, the new fittings, and this is a push fitting. So that hose can just push in. So one to the front, one to the back diff, and then these two actually go into the back of this thing. All right, there you go. Thank goodness we've got Mark here because I would have to be recording because Sue's working and doing this by myself. So we tighten that up. It actually comes with like a sealant on that fitting, hey? Yeah. Like a little bit of um, Loctite or whatever Teflon. it is. Teflon. Yeah. So make sure we don't cross thread it. And then what I'll do is clip the hose in and run the hose just out the back here and we'll sort that out once um, we move on to the next. Uh, Alright, we're happy there. Happy there. Do uh, you know what I didn't do? Some cutters. Some cutters to cut that off. Right, uh, here we go. We're just going to run this sort of over and then it's like the John Guest fittings on a caravan and you know, there you go. It's done. And what I'll do is I'll just leave this here. Yeah. Um, and then we can put that um, bash blade on now yep. over there and um, we can access everything from the back side here. Right, so because that's an ALB um, bulba. I bought an ALB bash plate from ALB and cans, the guys helped me out there, so... Oh, look, the box is way bigger than what... Holy moly! Get your toes! Holy moly, man! Alright, that's the bash plate. And... Give me another thong, another bag of accessories, and look... Oh, more instructions! Give me another thong first. What we do here is... um. Just open it up, hey. Man, it is an absolutely cooking day. What I've learned in this installation is maybe we should read the um, instructions. All right, here we go. Remove the bolt and tow hooks. recovery point had to come off again because this bar for the bash plate goes on here so this old recovery point the factory one it's gone and we had to take the whole thing off because this bar actually slips in behind the recovery point so Guys, we're um, we're done with the front end here. It's getting in the afternoon. I'll come try come up close. I managed to get it all done and then all installed the bash plate and the recovery point. Um, so that's the front end. Obviously, the diff breather has been tightened up behind that one now. So we'll move around and we shall go and get the other diff breather in and then mount the um for the breather. I put by the canopy where I want it, where I want where. Hey guys, we now we're gonna do the uh oh hang on the light. That's yeah, gonna be a problem, nice. okay? Uh we're gonna do the back breather, which is right here. So I'm gonna take <laughs> take that off, pull that off, and then I reckon wrong size, 14. I brought oh did I I brought the other little one with me. I mean, I'm just gonna take that out. Guys, it's important to do your diff breathers because you can see how that's not high enough. Like, we're gonna be underwater up in the Cape, so diff breathers are definitely. Show us where it's at, Derek. There, right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's not high enough, is it? So, what, what's that that you're putting in now? So, that's the new um, um, diff um, breather from ALB. So, that just goes in there like the front one. We'll run the front one and we'll cut it, and then we'll run the back one and we'll bring it up nicely along the chassis and up past the canopy. Coming out, yes! I'm not very flexible, guys. Oh, oh yes. 
You. All right, now. Let me check that. We got this. Yeah, right. This little thing here screws off. All right. And then they supply you with. Oh, did they send us cable ties in this, Mark? Yeah. How good is that? How good is ALV gear, eh? And then, um, so what you got here, I'm just going to tip it out. So with this, you, you got some self tappers. Oh, that's not very good, is it? Have I got that right? Hmm. That's not a lot to grab on. Especially corrugations, mate. I'll rattle this. Yeah, I'll right. have a look. I think I might have longer ones for that. But anyway, I reckon we are going to mount this like that. So we have more of these on the other side now. So I'm going to mount. What's nice about this is you can swing this around as many times as you want. So we'll run this on the bottom. And then what they do is they give you a plug to plug the top so we'll we'll obviously tighten this all up i need an allen key that didn't send me an allen key i don't think didn't quite win so like that i've got an allen key anyway i'll just double check but no that didn't okay so i'll go grab an allen key all right got me allen key and i'm just going to tighten up the plugs the plugs are allen key so like that and you can see just inside there where the so that little air, so that's where they actually breathe out of it, just the side there. So we plug that. I've got to get underneath and get the um, um, 13, 13 spanner. So I've got me 30. Now I'm just going to tighten up these um, spots. This nice and tight. Not even tighten anything, guys, because this is going to be well out of the way of the, the, the water. Just want to seal it from the dust. And... Righto, we got it up there. And that's where the breather's going to go. So if I go back, you can see it's halfway up my windows. So, um, guys, that's it for the um, a few mods. I'm going to pack this all up here, move the car, get out of the sun. The sun is absolutely cooking. Mark's actually not even feeling very well because of it. We get some water in us. And then um, when it cools down, I'm going to jump underneath the caravan and show you what vacation have done for the caravan to, to um, protection all over the plumbing and stuff like that. So I'll show you that in a minute. Right, guys, we're under the caravan. Um, and I've just realized that the water pipes are not covered. And it's too late now because um, we know we're near any shops. But anyway, I'll show you here. So obviously the water tanks have all got covers on them. This one's got a, a different cover to that one. I think this one is at the back because the stones sort of maybe, maybe flick up uh, this way. Then you got some of that checker plate over there. And then also, you will see these pipes. Let me, let me try and get around here. These pipes all been fitted with this corrugated stuff. Now, I don't know, honestly, if that's going to work. Um, a lot of you most probably think or have busted some pipes. With this on, I'm going to leave it because that's our job. We're out here to test it and um, to see if it holds up for this. So, Cape York it is for this, but I've just noticed these pipes here are not uh, covered with anything. I don't have anything, unfortunately. So, but otherwise, everything else looks the go. I'm just having a look around here just to make sure everything is good. It looks pretty good to me. So, that is another caravan. That's what sort of vacation it has done for us for these roads. Don't know if it's good enough, but we'll we'll soon find out. Um, but guys, that's it for this episode. Of just van in it because um tomorrow we're uh pack up and we still head north um to meet the rest of the the um the group that is going to cape york so if you've enjoyed this content please hit the like and subscribe down, uh, button below um and from myself and sue thank you so much for watching this video but also do if you want to follow our cape trip don't forget please guys hit that subscribe button and a not little notification bell that way you get notified when we drop new content. So you guys have a great week and um, we'll catch you next week. See you guys.